Hello, Purple Rosa here, and I'm continuing on in Western Skyrim. I'm just off the road here, where there is a quest that I missed at this farm here. This road is near Dragon Bridge, so you come down here. The quest giver is just down here at this little farm. So yeah, we'll head down there and see what this quest entails. Looks like this farmer is suffering, maybe? Spy or not, Ira Earthturner deserved better than death. If you come to rob me, you will leave disappointed. All this land and only weeds to show for it. Do you ever regret your choices, Wanderer? Ever feel set and you are on the just path? Only it leads nowhere. That's where you'll find this old farmer. Yeah, well... You make choices in the moment. What brings you so much regret? Uh, a lifetime of failure. For 30 years I have hunted my brother's killer. Tracked it all across Skyrim, seeking justice. Somehow it always managed to vanish. Uh, tell me, have you heard any stories of a monster called the Pale Man? No, what kind of monster is this? Something that stalks the moonlit snows. It steals loved ones away without a sound. A couple folks sent letters saying they had new sightings. These old legs are much too ruined for travel now. Would you be willing to hear them out for some gold? I'll talk to the survivors for you. Find Efya in Morthal and Hartgert in Dragonbridge. Tell them Erorf sent you. Ask them where they saw the Pale Man and who it stole. Thanks for hearing out an old man. Most just think I have lost my mind, but I know the truth. Can you tell me more about this pale man? Ah, caught your interest, did it? Maybe you're the person I need after all. Maybe Kang decided to send me a blessing instead of a curse. For once in my damned life. All you need to know about the pale man is that it takes people. It took my brother. Your brother? Drendek, yes. My older brother. Strong and hearty. A Nord's Nord. I thought there was no one in the world stronger than Drendik. Of course, I was only six at the time. Then the Pale Man snatched Drendik up like a babe. It's some sort of monster? Some say that. Most claim it doesn't exist at all. My father claimed that. And my mother. And the Sword Thane of Morthor. They all said a bear took Drendik. They said a little traumatized boy imagined the Pale Man. Made up stories. He's not a story. Yeah, I wonder what this Pale Man is. Could it be a Falmer? Why do you want me to talk to these people? I hunt the Pale Man. They have been hunting the cursed thing for 30 years. But it's like a ghost. Comes in snowstorms every ten or so years. Takes with once in a spree of abductions and then vanishes again. Every time it comes back, I get closer. Sounds like Pennywise. <laughs> but yeah, spending thirty years to track down this pale man it won't bring your brother back when you kill it. That still doesn't answer my question. The Pale Man took their loved ones, as it has taken so many over the years. These people are witnesses, so I need to know what they saw. I can't return whoever they lost, but I can track the thing down and kill it. You said something happened to your legs. A bad fall. While exploring a cave out on the northern coast, looking for signs of the Pale Man, when I ran right into a nest of frostbite spiders. I got out of the cave, but slipped and fell down a hill. Damn near crawled back to Dragon Bridge. The healers couldn't help you? You ever try crawling from the northern coast to Dragon Bridge? 
It took damn near three days. By the time I got back, my wounds were infected. Or so the healer said. Legs haven't worked right since. I can walk, but I can't run. Damned inconvenient. That's really... Three days to get to Dragon Pitch by crawling from the Northern Coast. So, Dragon Bridge is there. So, we would have been somewhere along here. Yeah, that shows great strength. So, I have to go to Dragon Bridge and Morthal. Do Dragon Bridge first. But yeah, this pale man, maybe it could be a Falmer, but I doubt it. I remember from Skyrim there was a vampire snow elf. Doubt it could be him. Maybe yeah. it's something we haven't seen before. Who am I talking to? Huh. Hjortgard. This better be important. Unless you want to pick up a rake, I don't have time to jaw at strangers. Aeroth sent me to ask you about the Pale Man. Well then, that changes it. I used to think that man had lost his senses. Then the Pale Man killed my bear. Now I understand. Before you ask, Bear was my hound. He mostly just slept and smelled bad, but he was all I had after my husband died. How dare he kill a dog? How do you know the pale man killed Bear? Because I saw it! Bear and I were tracking hawkers on the coast, over the mountain north of Solitude. When night fell, we made camp. Bear's yelp woke me. I expected to see a giant. Instead, I saw the pale man dragging away my poor dog. What did you do then? What do you think? I rushed into my tent and got my axe. When I came out, they were gone. Searched through the night, but the storm was thick as stew. And I can't track like Bear. That monster took my dog. My good dog! Bear deserved better. I'll tell Eirloff what you told me. I've known soldiers and killers in my day. Even been friends with a few. I don't know any I'd call evil, but that thing... That thing was evil. That thing killed my dog. Everybody told me I was crazy. Eirloff is the first one who made sense. Could it be a frost giant? How do you know Aerof? He used to post flyers around the area asking for stories about the Pale Man. We laughed them off back then, but no longer. After the monster took Bear, I sent Aerof a letter that said where to find me. I pray he gets that vicious creature. I'm on it. I want to know what this Pale Man is. So yeah, let's go to Martha. Talk to Yifja. Probably said that wrong, but I pronounced most names incorrectly. <laughs> okay, so where is she? In the tavern? Minus five gold. Five gold, that's not much. <laughs> So, ah, oh, there she is. My favourite part of coming to this inn is the strangers trying to talk to me. It's great. Never gets old. What do you want? Is that sarcasm I hear? <laughs> Aerof sent me to hear your story about the Pale Man. Glad to hear Aerof is still above ground. I thought his obsession had finally killed him. Yeah. 
I saw the Pell Man. My sister and I were ranging far north of Solitude, out along the coast. That night, we made camp with a plan to head back at dawn. When did it arrive? Late after I fell asleep. Merlith's scream woke me. I rushed out of the tent and saw it stalking away, carrying her. She was... Her neck was twisted, backward. I gave chase, but it was quick. Slipped into the shadows without a trail. What did this pale man look like? Taller than any man I've seen, but thin, like a droger. So I know it wasn't a giant. And paler than a belly of a cave fish. Look, Merlith and I never really liked each other. So I don't care if you find it. But hopefully this helps Erolf. I'll tell Erolf everything you told me. I've known old Erolf for a long time. I thought he was frost-touched, but I was wrong. That thing, whatever it is, is real, and it murdered my sister. I wonder how many other old stories that I ignored over the years are true. How do you know Erolf? He used to frequent the Inns of Solitude, begging for someone to join his hunt. Just another madman, we thought. Maybe if I'd listened to him back then, we could have found the Pale Man together. Then Merleth would still be alive. Well, doing something about it now. So it's not a giant. But it is tall and it looks like a dragon, all pale and thin. What could it be? Maybe someone who's cursed? Okay, we'll go back to Aerof. Back over Dragon Bridge. Draga can be smart, but I doubt it's a Draga. We'll see, we'll see. So it only comes out every 10 years in a storm. Yeah. Which is interesting. Still aggro, yes. And there they go. You're back. Wasn't certain I'd see you again. Well, have you talked to Aifia and Hauptgrid? They both saw the Pale Man pass the mountains on the coast. North of Solitude and Dragon Bridge. Along the northern coast, you say? Hmm, yes. That might narrow it down. Here, follow me inside. Lead the way. Never since it took my brother, I tracked Pale Man sightings across Skyrim. See on this map. Yes, there and there. He's got a map. That comes in handy, I guess. For years I have tracked the location of every Pale Man attack. Each one brought me closer to its lair. These last two confirm it. The Pale Man must be on the northern coast between Dragon Bridge and Solitude. It won't escape me again. How did it elude you before? A decade ago, I tracked down a cave where the Pale Man brought its kills. For days I waited. Eventually, I left to replenish supplies. When I returned, I saw loose rocks and an empty crawl space. The damn thing had watched me the whole time. Why didn't it attack you? It only attacks the unsuspecting or vulnerable, and I was armed to the teeth. It's no mere beast. It's smart, cunning. But I have an idea on how we draw it out. Bait of an unusual variety. Uh, would you be willing to help out? You want me to act as bait? Gods, no! I'm not willing to lose the only helpful person I've met in a decade. 
I need you to collect the ingredients and bring them to me on the northern coast. Then we'll draw out the creature and avenge its victims. What do you need me to get? The Pale Man likes to take people, so we'll make one for it, using Draugr parts treated with alchemy. This is where you come in. There is a crypt nearby. Dead Man's Respite. Chop up enough Draugr parts for a body, then meet me on the northern coast. That's a great idea, actually. Why do you need me to assemble a Draugr? The alchemical mixture I plan to use is necrotic, for lack of a better term. It only reacts with dead flesh. If we doused the living person with it, they'd die. But not before their flesh melted and they screamed a whole lot first. It's nasty stuff. But why are you asking me to gather Draugr parts instead of just one Draugr? No one knows what makes those walking corpses move, but we do know they stop moving if you hack them up enough. We need intact, non-moving parts to make a body that will draw out the Pale Man. One Draugr won't do, but parts of dozens. That might. Why send me to Dead Man's Respite? Is there something special about the Draugr there? Well, no. It's just the closest place I know to find them. Any Draugr will do, and if you know somewhere else to hunt them, their parts will work as well as any other. Just be careful. Those walking corpses look slow, but they are strong and mean. Yep, and they trick you by thinking that they're just dead corpses on the ground, but they stand up. <laughs> you mentioned dousing the body with alchemy? After I failed to draw the Pale Man out ten years ago, I talked to every hunter and reach witch who wouldn't slam the door in my face, or try to cook my eyeballs. The hunters suggested bait. But it was an old, clever woman who suggested the mixture. Must have been Mjolan. <laughs> what type of mixture? I don't know how it works exactly, only that it's something the Hag Ravens created. Somehow the clever woman stole it away from them. When poured on dead flesh, it creates a scent that drives anyone who smells it mad with hunger. How do you know it will work on the Pale Man? The thing eats, doesn't it? We know it's smart enough to move lairs, avoid people who can kill it, and use snowstorms as cover. I've tested the mixture myself. It was all I could do not to eat the dead flesh I poured it on. Still makes me nauseous. Ugh. How do we find the Pale Man's lair? While you're out collecting the Draugr parts we need, I'll mix the potion, limp up to the coast, and find the lair. Once you have the Draugr parts, run along the northern coast between Dragonbridge and Solitude, and look for me. I'll be waiting. Will do. So where is this... place? Pretty close. So, he nearly got the Pale Man in that cave. But it was watching him the entire time. That would, that would be creepy. <laughs> But if you found an empty scroll space that he didn't notice before... Maybe the... Pale Man knows some magic? What is it? So... Where are these Draugr? Ah! Down here! Getting Draugr parts is smart because with how hostile the Draugr are you wouldn't be able to drag one with you, let alone get it to go with you. Ooh, a heavy sack. So I got the parts, now I have to go there. Just teleport, it's faster. See what this pale man is. Hopefully I can get a look at it before I kill it or it attacks me. So the 
Pale Man's Lair is that Sword Point Watchtower. I have been in there. Briefly. It is a tower. It's getting cold. <laughs> So, you should be up here somewhere. Is that him? Yep, there he is. So it's near that watchtower. I don't think I've been in this cave. This must be the pale man's cave. See the bones? Wolves don't make patterns like this. And I have seen this before, at its own lair. A location this remote is perfect to grab folks who are alone. Told you it was clever. Did you get the Draugr parts? I got what you asked for, what now? You assemble them into a body that tempts the Pale Man. Take these sharp bones, jam them into the torso. Then stick the arms, legs and head onto them. Gruesome work, but it should hold. Pour on the pungent mixture I've made, and you have your bait. Well, if Mjolan made it, it'll work. Where should I put it? Last time I found a crude table deep within its lair. There were... remains with gnaw marks on them. I think that's where it eats. Search the lair for a similar table. Place the body on it, then pour on the mixture. And, uh, hold your breath. Yeah, wouldn't do to go eating a dragger corpse. Ugh, just the thought of that. <laughs> what if the pale man doesn't come out? If this doesn't work, then come get me. I am not letting this thing escape again. It won't be killing any more people. If we have to, I'll be the bait. But I'd like to avoid that for as long as possible. Despite everything, I'd like to live. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. Let's hope. Oh yeah, look at the bones. They're definitely in an interesting pattern. Not sure if it means anything though. Nothing comes to mind when I see that pattern. Oh yeah, there's a table. This is the pale man's lair. Could he be watching me? What's up here? Could he be up there? Watching me? I bet you he is. Okay, let's do this. Okay, the corpse is assembled. What is it? It is a Falma. Okay. Maybe it's a smart Falma? Oh, that was easy. Gather the Pale Man's trophies. This? Battered cat doll, torn dog collar. What was that? Bloodstained signet ring. Just the things from the victims. It's got to be the dog bear. It's a shame. I killed him with a Falma. Was it in there? Were you able to kill it? What happened in there? The monster you caught, Pale Man, is dead. Then it's over. Shaw's bones, it's over. After so many years, that thing is really dead. I don't know how I can thank you. I lost everything and was ready to give it all up. 
But now, finally, justice. Yeah, won't be taking any more victims. I found these objects in the lair. Do you recognize them? I don't... Wait. That ring. It can't be. It's Drendek's signet ring. Our mother gave it to him shortly before our hunting trip, when the pale man took Drendek. I always felt she blamed me for losing it, and for my brother, but now... What about these other items? These must be from all the other victims. Trophies of the lives it snatched. That means it wasn't hunting for food. It was proud of what it had done. I need to return these to the families. I fear and how good. All of them deserve to know it's over. So yeah, if it attacks every ten years, his brother was the first one. Then either Yifja and Hofgood. So yeah, every ten years. So only three people, at least while he was alive. May have had many more victims before that. Do you want me to bring these items to the families? You've done more than enough for a broken old man. I'd like to see the faces of everyone when I tell them. It'll take a while with this limp, but I've got something to live for now. All I can offer you is this. Thank you. Thanks. Glad I could help. Glad there won't be any more victims of this pale man. He looks like a Falmer. Because we know Falmer can be intelligent because there were snow elves. I'll search the lair for more trophies. Holding my brother's ring again feels like it validates him. His life. Everyone who lost someone should feel this closure. I'll send word to Aifia and Halkert. If you ever come near the farm again, stop by. Will do. I'll stop by when I can. So yeah, I'm back at the farm just to see if he says anything extra now that the pale man is dead and his brother's avenged. Ah! It's good to see you, my friend. Uh, please, forgive the mess. The last thing on my mind these past 30 years has been farming, especially after my parents passed. I guess I'll have to fix the farm up now. <laughs> I guess I no longer have excuses. Oh well, yeah. You can finally... live without the weight of the pale man on you now. So yeah, that was... An interesting quest, this pale man. I kind of guessed that it might have been a Falmer, but I wasn't sure because, as I said, they used to be snow elves. And yeah, the Falmer do show intelligence. After all, they have the intelligence to raise and train the Chorus, so it was interesting. That this power man only came out every 10 years, though. This Falmer. And he just hunted people for sport. Guess he was driven mad differently to the other Falmer underground. So yeah, I'm going to end this one here. And I'll see you around. Thanks for watching.